Okay, hello to everybody on my YouTube channel. On the previous video, uh, I showed you how to design a, a simple design like this. But uh, it is not, uh, seems exactly as it looks uh, here. This is uh, what our intended design. Uh, so today I'm going to simply show you how to get, uh, uh, how to take this design uh, to the next level uh, so that it can uh, appears just like this so and uh, we actually going to make it responsive so if we uh, inspect here uh, let's have a look it is stuck uh, on top of one another and it is responsive as you can see so we are going to take uh, our our design uh, and make it responsive and also we want it to appear exactly as it seems uh, to be right now. So to get started, uh, let's let's just go uh, into where we was written our uh, our HTML and CSS. So uh, to do that, it is pretty simple, guys. Uh, only to change is uh, how you have defined the roles and all of that. So. Uh, as always let me put everything side by side so that you can able to see and i like uh to put and i like to put a video studio code on this side like this ah so uh, once i'm done like that uh, i'm going to click uh control b to have uh, enough space on my video studio code uh we need to, to change how we define the role uh let's have a look here mm, let me first expand because it is responsive and that's the problem guys that's the reason as to why it, it, it behave like that so uh okay so let's have a look right now uh, in our row the first row we want it uh, not to have that much so we're going to give it a percentage don't worry uh so let's assume it is like 15 uh, uh percent and here like 30% and here let's give it auto uh, and here let's give it uh, like uh, one uh, I mean 16 uh, percent as well so uh, to define that since we know exactly that we have four rows and all of that we am, I'm going to say that on the first uh, column let me give it like even 12% and guys uh, sometimes I, 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 I put comma I just forget uh, so don't put comma over here so and i'm going to say uh like the second one i want it to have 30 rows let's have a look right now and the the third uh rows we want it to to be auto and uh, the last one we want it to have like 15 percent let's how it looks uh let's see how it looks right now as you can see uh, this is exactly the design that we was intend uh, to have initially so you can even reduce it like 10 percent it is up to you guys to 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 work around this even eight let us see uh, as you can see uh, this is our design right now I can literally say it looks exactly the same as this so but how we can make it responsive so that when it get into small screen and all of that it it behave kind of like this uh so to do that we, we want to apply media query into our our grid so all I have to do at the very top at the very bottom i'm gonna say add media add media uh i'm gonna say add media uh we have to say max max width we have to say something like this then we have to specify the width and we can say if it is around if the screen is around like six and a seven eight pixel uh, this is the tablet screen i think uh, we want our our grid we want we have to target our grid and we have to change the layout here we want it to to be single column so we have to target our grid uh, here and we have to say 
so we can target the column and we, we can say we, we we only need to, to have a single column we only need to have a single column so let me try to uh, look how it looks right now so if i get into that uh, screen uh, this is how it looks it has to be a single column look into this design so how many how many rows uh, do we have uh, into our, our our final design how many rows do we have here uh, we have to specify how many how many rows do we have here we have one two three four five six seven eight we have eight rows so we have to say uh every template rows repeat eight one fr let's see right now but we have to 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 define the the grid template area so we have to say grid grid template area we we need to say that uh on the top we don't, because it is a single column uh we want to have an upper as you can see it is start applying uh we need to have a side on the second a side I call it sidebar I think sidebar on the second on the third I want to have main as you can see on the fourth I want to have sect zero one sect zero one uh sect zero two as you can see dot sect uh zero three and uh let us define the footer and see what else do we what uh, what else that is left so as you can see i think uh our layout has completed as you can see now and now it is responsive uh so this is how to do it so uh you can even inspect so as you can see right now let's have a look uh if we uh inspect as you can see it is start expanding like this if we shrink when it is around uh that it it is shrink let's give a uh, like a padding let's increase the uh the padding so that to have enough space inside our uh, so let me give a padding of like uh so that to have a uh, space inside uh each box of like two rem and see uh as you can see right now this is how it looks if we give a padding look how it looks yeah so uh if we if we see uh if we inspect uh into our grid let's have a look if we see this uh icon here of a grid uh that means that uh you have grid in your uh container uh and uh you can even see uh how they define the how the the grid is is being defined as you can see we have how many columns one two three four five you don't have to worry about this because it is minus five as you can see uh which means has has no impact uh how many rows we have one two three and minus what minus four i think uh that's pretty much it for this video uh don't forget to subscribe uh to my youtube channel if you find uh any any value in this video uh and I hope to see you in another video.